Hey everybody, Jim and Jenny from Ohio. Well, I'm showing the, the, the beautiful apple tree that's in our chicken coop right now. It decorates their coop quite well, huh? Now it's been a long winter, but now we're into spring and things are blooming and we're happy. So I wanted to share a couple of things with you with our, um, our raised bed over here that we've learned in the past couple of years that um, I think is pretty extraordinary. We plant uh, kale and collards every year. And the last two years in this raised bed, I have not pulled my kale or collards up in the fall. And what happens is they uh, come back to life in the spring and they produce seed for me for next year. Now these collards that you're looking at right here, they're two years old. See how they're starting to bloom? They're going to put some nice seed heads on and I'll have collard seeds for days. Um, so when most people's collards are just coming up here, I, I'm eating mine because as you can see they have big beautiful leaves on them. And then down here I have some lettuce coming up and a few other things on the way. My garlic, some leeks. Uh, check out this kale. kind of reminds me of something out of the Dr. Seuss books. This is three years old. Three years old this stuff is. And it's going to bloom again. So, you know, I've been I've been eating kale for a couple weeks now. So, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. You know, we've always pulled our plants up at the end of the season. As my grandma says, we put the garden to bed. But we have not done that in the past two years, especially with these two plants. And the rewards that we have gotten from them are fabulous. So, uh, hey, happy gardening. We'll be talking to you soon.